So now we will do Ubud Budi walking and we're going to stop in four places in Ubud. First, we stop in Seniman Coffee Studio. Second, we will stop for try Sakli Peak or we always call Bagi Guling. And the third place, we will try a famous chicken rice in Ubud. It's called the Ayam Pak Sanur. And the last one, we will have a dessert, Bali Miska. Sounds they amazing. All the so, uh, restaurant. Yeah. So this restaurant is everything is recycled. Yes, everything is recycled in here. Even this uh, this chair. Yeah. This is a little plastic chair that you can find in the traditional market or yeah. this shop. But they adding some wood in here, so it's like the rocks. Yeah. I guess <laughs> it's a big nice chair. <laughs> okay. So what do you? What do you think is best? Uh, are you a coffee person? Yes. No. Okay. So, are you a coffee person? So, Rathi was just saying that the coffee beans that they serve here are only from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to try the single origin, which is if you want to try coffee from Hong Kong, try coffee from Bali. Or, I just want to try a coffee from Aceh. You can have an espresso with single origin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And usually people that come in here, they will uh, do consultation with the uh, barista. Yeah. So what if they don't know what to want to drink, they will ask the barista, oh, I want to taste a uh, chocolate in my coffee, I want to have a citrus taste in the coffee, and uh, they make a consultation with the barista. And barista will tell you, oh, this coffee bean is really good yeah. because they have this aftertaste. This is aftertaste. Yeah. Good morning from Cinnamon Coffee Studio. Uh, we're on a tour this morning with good Indonesian food. Rati has brought us here to have some coffee. Really missed our coffee from Australia. It's well known for good coffee, so I ordered a latte with an espresso. It's a little biscuit and you get some water. The belief of the owner of this shop is that it's for artists. The barista is an artist, so everything comes out beautifully made and beautifully presented. So let's have a try. <laughs> Sugar here, they use is it palm sugar? Oh, uh, this is a brown sugar that made from coconut. It's brown sugar made from coconut, so and you need to put that camera down and have your coffee. Pretty big. Yep. Okay. Uh, suckling pig rice. So on top of the rice, this part is the suckling pig, and uh, this is the skin, and this is the deep fried belly. Um, I'm sorry, can I use this? Okay. Yep. <laughs> and this is a blood sausage. If you don't like it, don't try it. The black one over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, the vegetable, or uh, the boiled vegetable with coconut dressing, and we call it lawar. So, usually we put this is the seasoning of the sapling pig. Usually, uh, if local people, they already pour it the seasoning on the this, but this put in the bowl because maybe you don't like spicy or something like that. Um, yeah, usually we use the suckling pig as an offering food because in Hindu Balinese, pig is a symbol of the bad thing. So when we do ceremony in the temple, we will kill the pig and offer it to the god. Excellent. Yes. That's it. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Time I tucked in and tried some of this. <laughs>
Ko betutu ayam pak sanur. Betutu is mean the way of cooking, like betutu which is we boil it and we roast it after that inside the banana leaf. Ayam is chicken. Pak sanur is Mister Sanur. Usually in Bali, when they give the name of the restaurant, they give the name with the owner of the place or the person who cook. Okay. Like in here, it was Pak Sanur, who was owner of this place, then who cook the food. They call this place is Pak Sanur, Warung Pak Sanur. And this food is already established for 75 years now. I think more than that because when in the charcoal fair on a French, where they just finished build the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. Miss, uh, the father of Mr. Sanur is going there to introduce this uh, food. Yes, yeah. this chicken. So this chicken is already go to the French <laughs> a long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. And this place is also place for 75 years now. Okay. And, and now it's the second generation of the Okay. cooking this chicken okay. so in behind that is their house so in here they only have one menu only so like the second pick that we had is like a rice and on on the topping is the chicken mm -hmm. the curry and anything else peanut vegetable fried noodles sometimes they're adding some egg yeah. on it mm -hmm. yeah, it's good um, well, hey guys, today I'm going to be trying this drink. It's meant to be healthier than actual fruit tea here that they make and they put in the bottle, so let's give it a go. The orange juice, just this one, is that okay? Yep. It's very different. That's Good or bad? I don't like it. Alright, let's okay. go. This is the chicken, the batuto ayam. Yep. Uh, this is the egg, the fried egg. That kind of like omelette, but they make it crunchy. Yep. And this is fried tempe. This is fried tempe too. And this is a tofu. Yep. And this is young papaya. Young papaya. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, it's young. It's cocoa. Cocoa. Is it in Australia? It's Coconut? Uh, no, no, coco. It's um, cho choco or choco. Choco? Yes, choco. Oh, so it's coco. Yeah. yeah. It's like a pumpkin, but it's green. Okay. Like a uh, pear shape, like that. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And deep fried peanut, uh, vegetable with coconut dressing. It's a long bean. And this is actually uh, noodles with vegetable and chili sambal. And this is the rice with the curry from the chicken. Okay, let's give it a try. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. The chicken is really good. The chicken is spicy. <laughs> Not as spicy as the peanut. place is Murniswar and before she was a selling a textile and souvenir in here and start selling nasi champu or mixing rice and then after that they yes. become famous and become big restaurant like this okay Which one do you want, Mouse?
caramel. Okay, Beck. so what sort of cake are we eating here? I'm having the Balinese cake. What's Balinese caramel cake. Balinese caramel cake. And it is with coconut ice cream and I've got a coffee thick shake and it is absolutely divine. I have a cashew, cashew pie mm -hmm. and it is fantastic. Marley has a banana caramel cake. Banana caramel cake. So I was eating my ice cream. What is your favourite? I had really high <laughs> expectations and then I was thinking, oh what if it's really bad?